The issue that I've chosen to talk about is disengaged youth. This touches on the ideas of difference and dominance. Disengaged youth are a minority affected by a dominant culture. The Queensland government describes a disengaged youth as a 15 to 17 year old youth disengaged from education, vocational education and training or work. Or as described in a report by Brader and McGinty, the definition can be broken down into three levels. Starting from being disengaged from school or work, then from family and social networks, and finally from support services. Let's look at some data about this minority group. In 2004, 15.5% or 214,800 Australian teenagers were not in full-time education or work. And in 2010, 16.4%, so that's around about 246,000 teenagers, were not in full-time education or work. In the apprenticeships and training sector, more apprentices and trainees left their training in 2010 than in 2008 because A, they lost their job, or B, they were made redundant possibly an effect of the global financial crisis. Patricia Cavallis' article in The Australian in 2010 spoke of the concerns of having a generation of long-term unemployed with all the associated social issues that come along with that. There's an assumption here connected with the assumed other social issues, but which level of disengagement are we actually talking about? Surely this depends on the individual and we need to be careful not to stereotype or assume a collective identity. Have a look at this quote from Brader and McGinty's report. Designing education policy to meet the needs of disengaged as though they form a homogenous, distinctive grouping is clearly inadequate. Conversely, subdividing a broad term which encompasses the homeless, drug users, single mothers, young carers, long-term unemployed and affluent dropouts runs the risk of reinforcing negative stereotypes. So how does this connect with the concepts of identity? In 1996, the Queensland Government labelled Queensland as the smart state. Do these students connect with this? Maybe it's foreign to their identity. Maybe they just simply don't fit with this. And maybe they are becoming disengaged because they see it as disconnected with their concept of self. The school curriculum and school itself is dominantly a middle class construct. This may not fit with the student's sense of self or may in their home not be valued as cultural capital. Their concept of home might be in conflict. Perhaps their home values and those promoted at school may not be aligned. If they pursue the values promoted at school, they may find that they are considered foreign to their family and their peers. Hi folks, this session is designed to give teachers some ideas about how to talk to their class or students regarding unemployment issues and disengagement. Our aim today is to give people an individual identity rather than an assumed collective identity with assumptions about their abilities and their personalities, etc. There's a few ways we can go about this. Firstly, perhaps we could brainstorm why a person might be unemployed. Maybe they have a health or a mental health issue or they don't have the appropriate skills or qualifications for what it is they want to do. Maybe they have a, an injury that prevents them from returning back to work for what it was that they originally did. Secondly, we could look at a, an article or a news report about unemployment in youth. Or thirdly, maybe we could brainstorm reasons why some people aren't interested in studying or working. Maybe trying to, to find their home uh, or find where it is that the student belongs. Perhaps we could brainstorm other ideas. Some students or kids may just open up to you. If not, maybe you could have a quiet discussion on the side with those students that you believe perhaps are at risk of becoming disengaged. We need to teach the students to value their own skills and valuing difference. That difference is not deficit. That being different is not bad. We can do this through looking at Gardner's multiple intelligences. Those are, for example, linguistic and verbal, musical, spatial, logical, mathematical, bodily kinesthetic or movement, intrapersonal or understanding others, intrapersonal or understanding self. Students can look at uh, the internet to find numerous sites on these uh, topics. We can also work on understanding diversity by looking at a job and connect it to all the jobs that make that particular job role work. For example, let's look at teachers. What other jobs make teachers' job function? We can get the students to brainstorm this one. 
they need to consider electricians to get the lights working, also carpet layers, painters to paint our buildings, uh, our authors to create the books that we use, website designers, the list is endless. What we're doing here is focusing here on all of the jobs that we, that we value in making our industry work, working alongside each other. Well, thanks for joining us for this session, folks. What we've tried to do here today is give you some ideas in your classroom for addressing youth unemployment and disengagement, while also trying to teach the students to understand difference in diversity in their communities. I hope it's been of some help.